Apple needs to make a decision about whether they're going to be a hardware company, a software company, or a media company. Now, we know they want to be all three, and I have no problem with that. But when Apple gets into the media side, because of course, I mean, that's where they make most of their money. So I can definitely see that. But they're kind of drawing a line that I'm not sure if it's the smartest move. Now, let's go back a step. When Apple first came out with the iPod, they then introduced the iTunes Store. Now, the iTunes Store was the best and easiest way to buy music for your iPod. Made a lot of sense. So when the iPod uh, when the iPod owner wanted to buy music, they went to the Apple Store. And it was such an, in, an, an amazingly um, innovative interface, an in, innovative way to buy music, that they eventually decided that they would not just have the iTunes Store for the Mac, which is how you got, you got it, but they had it for Windows. And it turned heads. At first, people thought, whoa, you're going to hurt the sales of your Macs by allowing people to buy an iPod and use it with Windows. That seemed like at the time to some people to be a bad move because would, they felt it would hurt the sales of, of, of Macs. Because at that time, they thought of themselves as a computer company, or some people thought that way, and that the fact that you needed a Mac to use an iPod was a selling point to buy Macs. But that one change, allowing Windows users to use iPods by allowing them to buy music from iTunes and putting iTunes on Windows, it made a huge difference in the number of people buying music from Apple. And then the iTunes store was drastically bigger than it ever was when it was just for Windows users. But for some reason, Apple's not seeing that in their current marketing strategy for their digital media. Now, specifically, there's Apple TV, there's media that you can only get through an Apple TV or through the iTunes store. You have music and movies and books and things like that. And Apple's not realizing how important it was for them to open up the regular iTunes world to the Windows users. And they need to move that same direction with their media sales. If they want to be in the media business, they have to open that up to every platform. Now, you might argue that you can use iTunes on Windows and you've got a few other apps on Windows, but they really are kind of still closed minded as far as the media itself. If I buy a Roku or if I buy a Sony Blu-ray player that has streaming in streaming uh, uh, features where I could stream Amazon Music, Amazon Movies, I could stream Netflix, I could stream all kinds of other content. The one thing I can't stream on anything uh, from uh, is, is, mu is things like movies. So anything that's meant for the Apple TV, for example, and I'm talking about movies mainly here, I should be able to buy a movie on an Apple TV and play it on a Roku or play it on a non-Apple device. That seems a little bit short-sighted and I'm sure it has something to do with some contracts that Steve Jobs created with the movie companies about distribution and, and then giving them access to movies first or giving them access to this or that as long as they kept it only within certain platforms. But the reality is whatever the reason, it needs to be changed. We need to be able to buy movies from Apple by other media like i i the uh i the ibooks they're calling it. i don't even know if they're still calling it ibooks they're dropping i but they need to be able to have all things digital purchased from apple capable of running on any platform windows roku sony whatever you got android there should be the ability to play media that you've purchased from Apple on any platform because that's stagnating a lot of things. If I want to buy a movie, I love Apple TV, but I will not buy movies on Apple TV because I do not want to be tied just to watching my movies on an Apple device and just the Apple TV. So today's idea of the day is that Apple needs to be able to open up purchases made digital media so that they could be run on other platforms like Roku or, or Android or Windows or whatever you may want. And that's today's idea of the day. Hi, would you please subscribe to my channel? Because I don't really need you, but it would be nice if you followed me. 
and subscribed to me, followed my channel. I don't need you though, I don't need anybody, I don't need anything except maybe this chair. So all I need is just this chair and maybe the paddle ball game, the remote control and the ashtray and this lamp. That's all I really need. Don't need subscribers.